Hi, everybody, and welcome to our annual fundraising presentation. We miss seeing you in person, but we are so grateful to be able to connect with you on this platform. A few housekeeping reminders. This session is pre-recorded. Slides and visuals will be made available at a later date. And your questions and comments can be directed to the fundraising Slack thread, Facebook Messenger, email, or phone. We really look forward to connecting with you one-on-one -on -one about your unique fundraising goals. I'm sure all of us are familiar with FARF's mission to fund research and provide support services to families worldwide. But how many of us are familiar with what it takes to make that mission possible? Have we considered our personal role in moving that next scientific advancement forward? Have we thought about how much of a benefit camp or the adult meeting might be to us? None of this, the events, the community, the progress is possible without philanthropy. So if you're a family who's fundraised or personally donated before, thank you. If you are a family who has raised their hand and made an ask to your community for the first time in the last 12 months, thank you. Or if you're here today as somebody who's not quite sure about this whole asking people for money thing, but you're interested enough to learn a little bit more about it, thank you for showing up. You're all here, I see you, and I'm grateful to serve with each one of you as we continue to drive FARF's mission forward. I would be remiss if I didn't start our session by sharing a few highlights from 2019 and acknowledging the challenges as well as the opportunities that 2020 has presented to us in the fundraising landscape. 2019 was a record-breaking year for us. We saw a 32% overall increase in fundraising dollars, which was made possible in huge part by the number of families who fundraised increasing by 10%. FA Day growing by 49%, Giving Tuesday skyrocketing with 188% growth, and the average gift size increasing by 12%, with the donor retention increasing by 25% too. Those are just a few of the remarkable growth statistics that we saw in 2019. And I'm thrilled to say that across the board, we absolutely crushed the fundraising game. Great work, everyone. In February of 2020, we were on target to exceed these numbers for the second year in a row. And while COVID-19 has definitely shifted this potential, primarily because most in-person events have been canceled, it has not canceled all hope for progress. I remain confident in our community's ability to innovate and our donors desire to rally and continue supporting each one of you in your fundraising efforts. Our strength can be found in the strong fundraising foundation of this organization, the close connections that each of you as FARF ambassadors have with your donors, and in remembering that while COVID-19 is a new obstacle in our path, in the world of FA, there are always challenges to overcome unknowns to navigate and community to rely on. We can and will continue to do this together. Today we're going to explore our organizational history, get some insight about current fundraising efforts at FARF, explore how you can get started on your fundraising journey or expand your current fundraising efforts, and celebrate the wins of families who either fundraised or personally gave in the past year. I know I do best when I have a face to put to a name. So here's our fundraising team. My name's McKenna. I'm the Director of Philanthropy here at FARF and I've been a part of this community for a little over two years now. I oversee the fundraising strategy and department, all of the items listed underneath my name, which we'll explore a little bit later on. And because I am a big fan of icebreakers and fun facts, I welcomed my first child, her name is Claire, into the world in March of this year. Next is Julia. She's our Family Fundraising Program Manager. She's your one-stop shop for all of your fundraising questions and support here at FARF. Her job is to connect with each one of you to ensure that the big picture and details of your fundraising efforts come together and are easy and seamless as possible. She joined the team a year ago and has been a total powerhouse since day one. And that shouldn't come as a huge surprise. Julia was the state champion for weightlifting for the state of Oregon a few years back. And last, but certainly not least, is Sherry. She's our communications director. Anything printed, mailed, emailed, blogged, Instagrammed, Facebooked, LinkedIn, put on the website, you name it, she made it. Sherry's been an integral part of the FA community since 2015, and she's definitely one of the most well-traveled staff at headquarters. She lived in Belgium for five years and is fluent in French. 
Since many of us today are new to the camp experience, I wanted to briefly review the history of our organization. If you haven't seen this visual before, I highly recommend downloading it from our website. You can find it in the About Us tab and keeping it as a handy reminder in how much progress has been made and how much still needs to be done. In 1983, Oregon parents, Lynn and Dave Frohnmeyer, learned that their two daughters had Fanconi anemia. They would later find that their third daughter had the disease also. At the time, they were told that individuals living with FA rarely lived into adulthood and that there is no cure for the disease. They also discovered that the disease was scarcely known in the medical community. The Frohnmeyer spent the next six years connecting with other families impacted by FA, imploring experts in their community to focus their energies on our rare disease and raising funds that ultimately brought the brightest minds from across the country together until they ultimately founded the Fanconi Anemia Research Fund in 1989. In the 31 years to follow, much progress has been made to improve the quality of life and life expectancies of individuals living with FA. Research dollars were primarily directed to gene discovery, bone marrow transplants, scientific symposiums, and more recently, cancer detection. Other fundraising dollars were spent supporting families through services like family camp, adult meetings, and the handbooks that we see today. There's not enough time to dive into the details of all that's been accomplished since our conception, but if there's one thing I hope you take away from this slide, it's this. One family, one desire to make a difference that was put into action through fundraising, it quite literally changed the future of a global community each one of us here today. What could the ripple effects of your one family's fundraising accomplish? Annual giving is comprised of dollars that FARF receives each year from fundraising events, online mail solicitations, or other individual donations. This is how the majority of FARF's funds are raised, and it's how we continue our steady progress forward. In our 31 years, 652 families have fundraised. Over 51,000 donors said yes to those families. And those donors said yes about 136,000 times. Of all the dollars raised, over 25 million has been used to fund research grants. The progress we talk about in gene identification, bone marrow transplant success rates, cancer detection, increased life expectancy, your fundraising efforts made that possible. In 2019 alone, 257 of our 1,400 registered families held 96 fundraising events, a record number I might add. Those fundraising efforts brought in a grand total of $3.67 million. I want to pause here and think about that for a second. The scariest thing I hear from families about the thought of fundraising is that our people might say no. That we might share our story and that nobody will listen, right? I hope that these numbers ease your mind a bit. If FARF's history shows us anything, is that your people want to help. Your community wants to be on this journey with you and your fundraising and their donations give them an outlet to do that. Our team is here to make it as easy as possible. Now that we're familiar with our history and have some insight as to how annual giving dollars drive research and support family services, you're intrigued. You're thinking, okay, I'm ready to do more. Well, the first step is raising your hand. Shoot us an email, a message on Slack, a note on Facebook, give us a call. Julia is your person and she'll be happy to set up some time to brainstorm ideas with you. Maybe your first step will be an online ask for FA month. Maybe it will be tacking our logo and address onto your family's annual holiday letter. Maybe you're interested in learning more about going the distance for FA or connecting with a family who's been at this fundraising thing for a while. Our goal is to help guide you in the best direction for your interests, availability, and unique donor community. Okay, so you love step one. Your community rallied around your family and you're chomping at the bit to take your fundraising to the next level. You've gotten to know FARF, are more comfortable sharing your FA story with others, and your donors are used to giving to our cause. Step two is growth. This might look like increasing your once a year ask to a twice a year ask. It might be dipping your toes into an event. It might be exploring sponsors for the event you already have. Step two usually happens 12 to 36 months after step one. So don't worry, you've got time. And again, we're here to assist, coach, and encourage you every step of the way. Step three is for our seasoned fundraising families, transformational. Your fundraising efforts are stable. 
we've thought partnered on how to maximize your current fundraising efforts and you're really wanting to change the trajectory of fundraising here at FARF. This is where I work one on one with you to discuss the potential of major gifts, estate gifts, corporate partners, grants, gifts that will propel your fundraising and our organization forward faster. If you're interested in step three and we've not already connected, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Or if you or someone you know might be interested in having a conversation about making a transformational gift themselves, please give me a holler. I'd be thrilled to explore that with you. At this point, I'm going to hand things off to Julia who will walk you through the details of your role in steps one and two. Hi everyone. I just wanna start off by saying thank you to everyone who I've been able to partner with over the last year. A year ago, I attended camp on my fourth day of joining the team, and I want to thank you for the kindness and grace you have shown me this year. I am honored to work with you all. In my role as the Family Fundraising Program Manager, my job is to be the main point of contact for families that want to get started on fundraising. So if you're sitting here wondering how you can get involved, like McKenna just mentioned, the first step is doing an online appeal. This can be a holiday appeal or FA month appeal. For relatively little effort, you can see a pretty great response. Since we anticipate very few in-person events this year, I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about our two annual campaigns and some other digital platforms that families can raise funds on. I want to start off talking about our holiday appeals. This is something that FARF was founded on when Lynn and Dave asked their community to give during the holiday season. This year, we had an incredible holiday appeal campaign. In 2019, we had 21 families do appeals. Together, we raised over $2.06 million, which was a 5% increase, about $10,000 from the 2018 holiday season. This 5% increase makes us as a fundraising team really happy because it shows us slow and steady progress and growth, which is exactly what we want to be seeing. Holiday appeals are a great first step into fundraising because you can make it as simple as you want. Some families write hard mail letters, some send emails and use social media, and some include a small ask with their family's holiday card. You can decide what works best for your schedule, and I'm here to assist you through it all. Each year, our holiday appeal campaign is kicked off on Giving Tuesday, which broke records this year. So if anyone wants to do a holiday appeal, mark your calendars for December 1st. Next, I want to talk about our FA Month campaign. Like McKenna mentioned earlier, we were off to a great start in 2020. We were on track to break fundraising numbers for the second year in a row. We all know that those goals changed once COVID-19 ramped up. However, despite the challenges we faced, we had an incredibly successful FA month. Our community, fundraisers, and donors stepped up. We are so incredibly proud that when FARF called on you, you responded. With the cancellation of in-person events, online giving is what we leaned on, and we had a record total 35 families create ethnic fundraising pages. Together, we have over $106,000 online, which is a whopping 30% increase, about $31,000 more from last year. We are so happy to see the 30% increase because it shows really great donor retention after our increase in holiday appeals. One trend that we see a lot in our fundraising families is larger gifts and better donor retention when families ask their donors twice a year, once in FA month and once in holiday appeals. If you are interested in either one of those appeals, please connect with me. I'm here to answer any questions you have about getting started in fundraising. Now I want to touch on two different online platforms that families can raise funds on. The first is Facebook. In the last year, our community has raised over $63,000 on Facebook. This is incredible. Birthday fundraisers are great on Facebook. However, it does provide some challenges with donor follow-up and tax receipts. If you have questions about the pros and cons of Facebook First Classy, please reach out to me. I would be happy to chat about these and help you decide which platform is best for your fundraising goals. Next is Amazon Smile. Amazon Smile is super easy to set up and donates a portion of each sale to FARF when you shop online at smile.amazon.com. This year, FARF has received over $2,000 from Amazon Smile. If you have questions about this or want to share it with your community, please message me and I can help get you started. And lastly, I wanna to talk to our international families in the room. Our donation platform, Classy, does accept international currency, which is fantastic. However, FARF is not able to process tax receipts for other countries. 
If you have questions about this or how to fundraise internationally, please email me. I would love to chat about how we can partner on a global scale. Okay, now is for the fun part. Usually at Camp Sunshine, we would be at our fundraising banquet dinner, all dressed up and able to thank each and every one of you for your fundraising achievements in the last year. So we wanna do our best to recreate the magic. We're gonna start off with a few special shout outs for some incredible efforts in the last year. First off is our youngest fundraiser. Joy Hessels, age nine, decided this FA month that she would run a 5K for her fundraiser. Not only did Joy finish her 5K in under 36 minutes, but she raised over $9,000. Incredible job, Joy. Thank you for being our youngest fundraiser this year. Next is our FA Month champions. Zach and Rachel Gratz Lazarus absolutely crushed it this FA Month. Last year, they did their first appeal and raised over $4,000. This year, after securing their own matching donors, they raised over $22,000 for FARF. Thank you so much, Zach and Rachel, for your time and dedication to growing this fundraiser. Next up, our standout first time fundraisers are Bob and Julie Williams. Last year at camp, Julie approached me and told me she was signed up to run 100 miles in November and wanted to turn it into a fundraiser. Just let that sink in. 100 miles without stopping, and Julie wanted to make it harder on herself. So as a first-time fundraiser, Julie raised over $6,000. So, so incredible. Thank you so much, Julie. Last but certainly not least are our leveling up fundraisers, Orion and Lisa Marks. 10 years ago, Orion, his father and brother-in-law, proudly called Team Bravery, started doing extreme challenges to raise money for FARF. This year, with COVID-19, they decided to take on a mini challenge, just running the number of miles in the day of the week, which sounds simple when it's the first, but there are 30 days in April, and in total, they ran 465 miles each. Not only did they push themselves to the limits, but this year they raised over $141,000 for FARF. We are so honored to have you in our community and we thank you for continuing to raise the bar. And now we're gonna transition to honoring all of our families who raised funds in the last year. All of the families on the screen raised up to $250 from June 2019 to June 2020. Thank you all. between 10 and $18,000. We cannot thank you enough for your support and dedication over the last year. And a big virtual round of applause to all of our fundraising families. Thank you for your time and support. We wouldn't be here without you and we look forward to working with you all in the coming year. And now I would like to turn it back over to McKenna who will share our top 10 fundraising families from June 2019 to June 2020. 
Traditionally, these next acknowledgements would also be saved for our fundraising banquet. We would call FARF's fundraising champions onto stage and thank them personally for their vested interest and support of the Fanconi Anemia Research Fund in the past year. While this tradition may look a little different today, we do want to thank the following 10 families for their exceptional fundraising efforts or personal gifts in 2019. FARF received over $18,000 on behalf of the Fiaschetti family in 2019. David and Marianne, thank you for all that you do. FARF received over $19,000 on behalf of the Adele family in 2019. Brian and Carly, we so appreciate you. Thanks. FARF received over $26,000 on behalf of the Klemkowitz family in 2019. Stephen and Jennifer, thank you. We are so grateful. FARF received over $28,000 on behalf of the Levine family with Coley's Cause in 2019. Todd and Kristen, thank you, thank you for all that you do for the FA community. FARF received over $29,000 on behalf of the Hartman family in 2019. John and Martina, wow, we are so grateful for you and how you improve the lives of others. FARF received over $40,000 on behalf of the Vandermeise family with Play for FA in 2019. Gerard and Cynthia, these funds and your efforts make a huge difference. Thank you so much for all that you do. FARF received over $123,000 on behalf of the McQueen family with Play for FA in 2019. Kevin and Lorraine, you are invaluable champions to this community and we are so grateful for all of the hats that you've worn and all the things that you push forward to make life better for individuals living with FA. Thank you. FARF received over $141,000 on behalf of the Marks family with Team Bravery in 2019. Orion and Lisa, it is an absolute privilege to work with you and we appreciate your can-do attitude in the world of fundraising. Thank you so much. FARF received over $264,000 from the Kendall and Taylor Atkinson Foundation with the Nash and Griggs families in 2019. As FARF's biggest partners, we offer our sincere appreciation for the work that CATA does and the efforts of their families and donors. And finally, FARF received over $1.5 million on behalf of the Fronemeyer family in 2019. Lynn, we wouldn't be here without you. Your thirst for knowledge, tenacity to get things done, and character that first connected our community 31 years ago is forever the foundation of FARF. We are so indefinitely grateful for all that you, Dave, and the girls have done for each one of us. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. That concludes our, our fundraising session for Virtual Camp Sunshine. Thank you all for listening in and being a part of this special community. We are honored to partner with you all and we wish you a safe and healthy 2020. If you have any questions about this presentation or fundraising, please feel free to reach out to McKenna or me. Our emails are listed here below. Thank you and we look forward to connecting with you all.